Continuing on with our discussion of close air support, let's look at actually attacking the target. Now let's assume that any potential AA like this Russian 37 mil gun here failed to disrupt or destroy the close air support. At that point, they get to conduct their attack. You do have to roll, however, for their potential accuracy. You'll roll a D6 and on a roll of a one, the target hex is missed and the defending player will pick a location within one hex for the uh, strike to hit. So if this were our target hex, and a roll of one, you would be able, the defending player would be able to pick one of these hexes to have the strike hit instead. If a two is rolled, then the attack only partially hits the intended hex and the ground attack number, the red number, gets reduced by one. Looking at our Stuka attack uh, dive bomber here, it would reduce its firepower from a three to a two instead if a two was rolled. If a three to six is rolled on the accuracy, then the strike is going to hit as normal and the attacker will take and use their full firepower against the targeted hex. They'll roll as normal looking for their to hit number and calculate their total number of hits. The defender does potentially have a defensive role depending on what terrain that they're in. They will get to look at the infantry defensive bonus provided by the terrain effects chart and they do get an extra die if they're concealed. Unfortunately for our SU-152 here, they're in a clear hex, so they would not get any bonus for that, and they're not concealed, so they don't get a bonus for that. So in this circumstance, the SU-152 would not roll any defensive dice. If they were, though, provided any defensive dice, they would roll them, and on a roll of a five, it would be considered a success as normal. Similar to artillery, if there are multiple units in the hex, you're rolling against the hex itself, not against individual units. So any hits will be dispersed as evenly as possible between the units located in the hex. You would also resolve any damage to potential HQs in the hex as if it were a ranged attack. Now, once the attack itself is done from the close air support, you do have to roll one more D6 to determine the aircraft status. You are going to compare that roll against the number of hits that the attack aircraft actually scored. So let's say that our Stuka here scored three hits, the maximum that it could score. You would roll up one D6, and if the result is greater than the number of hits rolled before the defender rolls his defensive dice, its counter goes back into the cup, so you will be able to use that attack aircraft again. However, if it's less than the number of hits rolled, then the aircraft is considered to be out of ammo and it's out of play for the remainder of the game. 